lot of people have those uh, 98 series level from the uh, start. They're very uh, well made, they're very accurate, once uh, well calibrated. I had, uh, I have a few, I mean, uh, like uh, this is a 12 incher here. I had one, which uh, I just lost some of the hardware, but does it uh, doesn't really matter. Um, but the problem is with this one is someone replaced, replaced the vial in there and the vial was uh, too small. I mean, uh, there's a, a set of vial for the uh, six inches and the eight incher. <clears throat> and you also got the uh, set of vials for the uh, 12 and 18 inches. So uh, this one has been set up in there with uh, silicon, silicone and uh, just uh, not well, not well done. The job is, uh, is not well done. It's pretty hard to calibrate the properly because the vial doesn't, is too small. The diameter of the vial too small. It doesn't fit properly in there. So luckily, bah, let's say half luckily, I had this here, which is a uh, brand new vial. Uh, let's say brand new assembly with a broken vial, and. Uh, I've been looking for a while for that in Canada. It's pretty hard to uh, to get them because they, uh, you know, lots of people don't even ship in Canada, and it get, gets gets to be complicated. So uh, I made an exchange with Mr. Uh, Peterson, uh, Mr. Pete. So this is a 12 and 18 inches uh, vial for the uh, these type of uh, levels. To remove um, the ends of this, those uh, those two caps, I um, got soft jaws on the on the vise here. These are pretty uh, well flattened uh, parts on this angle there. That's going to give me some uh, place to uh, kind of help pushing up a little bit. You got to twist a little bit, and I'm pulling up at the same time. Yeah, we're we made some gain. Um, I'll try a little bit with a uh, little bit more persuasion. Yeah, the jaws on the the jaws underneath just left. <coughs> okay, I'm trying the same thing here, but uh, instead of having like a rubberized jaws, like uh, I'm having a solid aluminum, uh, that shouldn't break too much the uh, surface. And let's try it again. Not making that much progress. Maybe it's going to be a little bit more difficult than it should originally be. Let's see how we... Uh, I'm turning and pulling up at the same time. Coming slowly. When I say slowly, I mean slowly. Okay, let's. Uh, tight. Okay, took some effort, but uh, finally it's easing up. Easier a little bit. There we go. There we go. That's it. So there's no damage to this here. Not, not. Well, how could I say that? Not, not any more than there was before. Sorry. And because someone just damaged it. Uh, before it's been tempered with, so that's uh, no wonder why we're having problems. This here, I kind of removed the uh, end, and this is more inside there, more like plaster. Um, I would say uh, grout for tiling or whatever could be something uh, usable in there. Uh, the vial will fit uh, pretty, uh, 
pretty nicely in there. I, I'm not going to push it because there's a stuff and I, I have to clean up very good, but this is the right size. So uh, thanks again, Mr. Uh, Peterson. And uh, I'll be fixing this just uh, to have a decent, uh, decent level. To uh, <clears throat> come about the uh, grout in there, you can use some masonry bits. It does a very nice job. Anyway, the vial's broken, so you don't care. And uh, need to be uh, kind of cleaned up pretty well. When the second cap is a little easier to uh, remove. This and a little drift. There you go, it's coming out. That's it. Uh, better to have them uh, remove at both ends because you want to uh, just center your vial in the middle and uh, adjust it to a uh, you know, proper location. To make sure that the inside is very clean. Normally if the right stuff has been used in there, you can use the, uh, this is a little brass brush smaller or bigger but just uh, everything should pretty much come out uh, try not to scratch the inside there we go I think it's uh, starting to look pretty clean naturally if someone used epoxy in there uh, any kind of a resiny stuff then you you're in deep uh, in deep schmoo there you go so that's pretty clean I think you can see that uh, We'll be able to insert the uh, the new vial in there. Installing the vial in there, I um, added uh, a few more papers. Um, I want to have this. There's going to be a little space, a little bit there, but uh, not too much. And uh, as far as placing the vial in there, I'm going to be doing some eyeballing. Just I'll show you why in a few seconds. Um, I'll try to make it as even as possible on each side. This is uh, this is pretty even, and uh, if you look in this one, let me put this one aside there so it doesn't move. I'll show you something. Uh, I think someone had uh, some eyeballing before I did. Look at the um, the eyeballing job on this one. See how this side and this side aren't even, and this is one from. Starrett. I'm pretty sure this one never been uh, fixed or anything like it uh, and never been uh, played with before So I think my eyeballing is going to be at least as good as the this one is what am I going to be using to uh, fill up the ends? Simple wall grout. There's no sand in there. It's pretty uh, pretty smooth and That's going to be good enough in there Water It's dropping a little bit like this. It should be good enough to fill up the uh, the voids in there. Keep the paper uh, stuck to the surface. It doesn't take very much. Maybe a half inch on each side. That uh, all it needs. Okay, last uh, sanity check. Yep, perfect. And on the left, right uh, position on this way. That's good. That's uh, excellent. So let's make this permanent or semi-permanent ah oh, yeah shit this I'm happy with oh yeah anyway let me uh, let me have fun Let's see how Starrett puts them. Okay, Starrett puts the um, Starrett sign there on the same side as the dished parts there. Before we put the dished part, we gotta not forget the uh, little, uh, I would say, Teflon. A little bit different here. Hopefully that will get in. Yeah, better. See, this uh, provides enough friction so it doesn't go by itself. Easy enough. Remember, dish uh, dish side on the uh, underneath of this. The other one is the uh, same top and bottom, so irrelevant on which side it goes. You start them up a little bit. 
Uh, now you want them very, very even on one side and the other side, so they want you want to be on the same plane. So I'm using a granite plate, and uh, you also want it to be as even as possible as far as the uh, vial is going to be connected to this. So a good way to put the vial in the same plane. Just a second, just bear with me. We'll be turning this. What, what I'm going to try to aim is to uh, put the uh, the bubble as close as possible between those two dots there. So that will be kind of pretty well centered. Uh, you know, on this uh, axis there. Just a second. It's not easy, easy, easy. Just let me get uh, one end out. I'll try to do it with one handed. As you see, okay, I've got this one pretty straight there. See, it's uh, from here, it's pretty well centered. I'm going to go and put the uh, the plug there. Yeah, it looks pretty good, pretty even between the two. And now this has to be pressed in before we go for final press. The nylon is there, or the Teflon, or whatever is there. Everything is straight on each side here, and let's start the pressing there we go mm. I'm, I'm going to be using some uh, some clamps a little bit or something to uh, once they're started they'll go pretty straight here I had to find a way to squeeze these in so uh, and keep them straight so let's try this here I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure on this with these uh, clamps there's one in oops that needs more pressure on the other side it's coming in Slowly but surely, this is staying straight. That's good. This one is almost in. This is in just a tiny little bit. Just about uh, a few thousandths of an inch. And that should be okay. And what I'll do, I'll just put it in the... Uh, now they're pretty much in. They won't, uh, they won't twist or anything. I'll just put them in and press them in. The vial's in. Just check that... Uh, we're okay, we're fine, there's uh, everything straight. Looks, looks pretty good. Now let's put it on the um, on the support, on, on its base. We'll be reinstalling the uh, first end that has to be reinstalled. This one's been tempered with its uh, quarter inch 28 and originally should be like uh, 1032. But uh, someone, uh, someone mm, played around with it. Okay, let's put it in there, but that, will, that, will, uh, that won't uh, cause any uh, dysfunction about uh, about it so let's put the two little uh, nuts here one on top of each other let's uh, you can leave them loose no problem about this starting to put it up on there uh, this screw here has to be tightened down so it doesn't move anymore just I'll jam it down to a bottom of the hole here that shouldn't move anymore that's not the original but I'll, I'll eventually get the, an original setup the original setup is a that would be a 1032 but I mean uh, finally I won't get it because the, the whole layer has been retapped so we'll go we'll live with that so this side here first thing here is to put the little uh, dishwasher not the dishwasher dishwasher but the dished washer the uh, other dishwasher dished washer for the top you know spherically uh, shaped screw let's put them in okay let's put that it's been mangled a little bit because uh, this uh, level wasn't really super taken care of let's leave a uh, little snug and back a little bit so it leaves some uh, adjustment uh, you know space for uh, adjusting so here this side here not being like you see here it's been mobile we'll be doing the adjustment now uh, for this time being i'll be adjusting the level uh, compared to another high precision level uh, there's another video which i made previously uh, quite a long time ago i'll give the reference to the uh, to this corner um, you'll be seeing how to start with even an uneven or unlevel surface and make a very good uh, alignment for a level like that and 
you just you, you just watch out. But let's go for the easy method today. I'll be uh, just removing this here, and we'll be going onto the uh, bottom table. On a table like this, where uh, you're not going to get exactly all axes uh, perfectly level. So I found a perfectly level axis using this tarot, uh, uh one division equals uh, f half a thousand per foot. And this one here is, uh, if I'm right, is uh, I think it's two thousandths per foot or uh, something like that in the specs. But anyway, this one being much more precise than this one, so this is we were getting pretty uh, pretty good as far as a starting point to get uh, this level here level with this one. See, we're uh, able to play with this here. Let's see if we can reach. Let's lift a little bit this one here. We're a little bit too much. Let's get the bottom one to at least get close to level position here that's uh, and don't uh, don't lean on the table on the um, on the granite table if you lean on the granite table and you apply a lot of weight um, I mean even there if it's a thousand you know here I got about a thousand pounds a uh, granite table you might just affect a little bit the uh, the, uh, the the uh, let's say the axis the uh, level axis so let's try to uh, get this here a uh, little bit more a little bit closer to uh, the this reference level here uh, we're pretty close that's not too bad let's make uh, this here a little tighter on top bottom one now you gotta make this level just very fixed don't make it move make sure everything is very clean underneath that's a, a let's see a prerequisite and I'll be uh, lifting a little bit going down with the uh, the top one allow allow some time to um, stabilize the bubble in there a little bit up let's tie this down a little bit more Up a little bit the bottom one let's make sure the uh, reference level hasn't moved from here I'm not sure the camera is a little bit at an angle so uh, from my point of view the bubble is very well centered on the uh, top one I would say I need to lift up a little bit on the bottom one here let's uh, make it so it doesn't uh, affect the other one here there you go and there's no rocking to you no know, a level a level that would have been broken up or uh, I would have problem would be you know have a tendency to rock or uh, not being very stable. So um, I'm going to just snug this up a little bit more. Recheck. Wish I'd say this is very good on this side. Let's see about this side again. I'm going to be recontrolling this uh, level here and yeah level here is still as uh, as set up and this one here is a uh, very nicely uh, very nicely done I'd say brand new one successful repair and uh, we'll see you uh, next video thanks for watching please subscribe Geez, you just leave these guys alone for five minutes and they start reproducing. What am I gonna do? Oh boy. Hope he's not too offended. I even forgot this one. Come on. Out. Out, I said. Come on.